How's it going everybody? Welcome to Summer in Yeg. Today I am in Borden Park in Edmonton, Alberta checking out U-Fest. I had such a blast last year that I had to come back again this year. So let's see what this U-Fest has in store for me. Let's go! <laughs> And welcome everybody. I'm so happy that along with the sunshine you too all came out to join us as we launch UFest 2019. <laughs> this event is put on 100% by volunteer effort and with the support of some very very important uh, elements of our community and government. So I'm going to start with the volunteers because without them, none of this would be possible. I can tell you right now that over the course of uh, Wednesday of this week until we clean up on Sunday, we will have filled well over 400 volunteer shifts. That is amazing work. It is something the city of Edmonton is so very well known for. And it's not just Ukrainians coming to put on this festival. We have people from all walks of life who want to see this be successful. It's been a very, very special uh, year uh, with the opening of the consulate. And, and then, of course, now with the second installment of uh, this very important festival. So I, too, wish on behalf of my city council colleagues to add my thanks to the volunteers, to Daria and her team, for... Uh, for all of their efforts to make this possible. Of course, to the performers, the vendors, everybody else, the sponsors, everybody who's made it possible for us to be here today and over the weekend. And so, in the spirit of all of that, I would like to offer the following official proclamation. Whereas Ukrainian culture has been enriching the lives of Edmontonians since the first immigrants from Ukraine arrived in the 1880s, and whereas the Ukrainian community is one of the largest cultural groups in our region and is known for proudly sharing their heritage, no doubt about that, and whereas we're fortunate to have the colorful pisanka, delicious pierogi, and traditional dancing and other beautiful Ukrainian arts and culture as part of our city's landscape, and whereas taking time to celebrate the vibrancy of Ukrainian culture and the impact it has had on our city is a great way to build a stronger, more connected community for all Edmontonians, Therefore, I, Mayor Don Iveson, do hereby proclaim May 24th, 2019, Ukrainian Festival Day in Edmonton, Alberta's capital city.
guys, I had an absolute blast at UFest this year. I mean, you guys know that I went last year and had a blast too. I love the food, I love the beer, I love the culture, I love the people. Everyone is so friendly over there. It just feels like one big family and I feel so welcome when I go there. It is incredibly difficult to not have a good time there because everything is just amazing. I mean, the performers are so amazing and so talented. The food is great. The beer gardens are so fun. I mean, taking that Ukrainian shot, I was just like having a blast and these are people that I just met that day. It was just so fun and I felt so welcomed. If you didn't get to go this year, I highly recommend that you go next year because it's just so fun. I mean, it's totally worth it. It's free, first of all. You just pay for the food and the drinks. That's it. And then you get all that entertainment. It's just a good time. All right, but that about does it for this episode of Summer in Yeg. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. And remember, if you are bored in the city of Edmonton, Get off your ass and do something. There's so much to do in the city. All right, catch you guys next time.